Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. Let's jump into recording and just check. It's Monday, nearly Christmas. Are we all ready for Christmas? Not ready for question. Please mind the state of me. Um, I've had a disaster of a morning. My son should have been in a, a holiday activity club, but they decided to cancel it and not tell me. So I drove an hour, half an hour for nothing. So yay me. Um, so if you do get any interruptions, do bear with, because it's Christmas holidays. So, listen, some of you is, some of you are moving home. There's like one half of you that like I'm connected to are moving home. The other half are connect, uh, I'm connected to are moving on from heartbreak. Um, but I feel like the majority of you are moving home. Oh, Why well, are we seeing the tower? Could be unexpected, but... Some of you are going to meet someone very unexpectedly. Or oh, is this someone that you already know? Oh, for God's sake. Could be someone that's missing you here, Taurus. Time of year and all that. Look, some of you are moving. For some of you that aren't moving, that that doesn't resonate with, someone that you're connected to could be moving. Um, move, possibly moving away from something about defending themselves or protecting themselves to do with some kind of painful situation they're going through. Tell me about Taurus's energy, please, Spirit. Some of you Venus. So please do subscribe if you're new. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I know I just said subscribe, but it kind of just comes on the end of your tongue, don't it, at the end of that. <laughs> like, share. I never thought I'd be that person, to be honest. Like, share, comment. <laughs> oh, kidding. Time out to our okay? You're a busy bee. Two of pentacles. You're busy, 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 busy. Juggling a lot, doing a lot, work, home, kids. Thoughts. Like, some of you are managing a very tough situation very well, or you're seeming to be. Oh, magician, always. Some of you are wondering when your manifestations are coming in. Some of you don't believe that they come in to the swords. Don't do that, because some of you... Some of you are questioning your own manifestations to the point where you're going to block them. So be careful. Oh, oh, didn't see that fall out. Yeah. Could be on with Aquarius. Got Gemini energy and Aries. You don't believe that your wish is coming true. You, you, you're you questioning your own manifestations. You're questioning the universe. You're questioning on its deliverance. You still don't believe or you don't see or you don't want to. You're refusing to, some of you are. Some of you are being very stubborn little bulls and you don't want to see that you are going to get absolutely everything that you want in, that you're wishing for, that you deserve from going through something chaotic and horrible, uncomfortable and, you know. But some of you are feeling right. I'm a Torah son, so I can say this. These messages won't resonate with every single person, but one particular Taurus that I'm connected to right now is having a little bit of a pity party. They're having a little bit of a strop. No, not a pity party. No, ignore that. They're having a strop. One of you out there are having a strop. Like, fuck's sake. When? Where? Like, and you, you're you thinking, I'll just... What's the point? What is the point? Because it's not coming. Yeah, it is. So stop doing that. Stop doing that. You know, your happiness is coming. Look, but you're just feeling like a little bit... Where's mine? When's it my time? When's it my turn? When, when, when? How, when? You know, I feel like you know about the who and the what because you're manifesting it, you're wishing for it, but you want to know when and you will be happy. You will. You will get this brand new, fresh, crisp, honest, dream F, like 
true start, genu something genuine. You're going to get a blessing. A genuine blessing is going to come possibly via communication, via message. Tell me more. Whatever you're wishing for, take that as it resonates. Oh, okay, we've got the two of ones. Look at all the twos. Some of you that I've read for personally, I know exactly why I'm saying. The Knight of Swords. So something's coming in soon. Some of you are going to have a big decision to make soon when you don't see that coming. Some of you are not believing in your own manifestations and then you're going to get snowballed with maybe more than one. Sooner than you think. <laughs> Why is there so many twos, Taurus? Let's clarify. So, you've got some victory coming. You've got success coming. You've got wish granted coming. You've got abundance coming, materialistic gain for some of you. If not already, you're on a jet. Look, another wish fulfillment card, man. Wow. What a powerful reading. So this is you for those, you know, for those of you that are doubting, doubting that you're gonna get what you want, what you deserve, what you're wishing for, what you're manifesting. For all you doubters, this is complete confirmation that you're gonna get it. You just don't see it, you don't believe it, you're just like, you're bored, you're fed up, you're like, you know, there could be people around you, the two of pentacles, you just don't know when, you just, come on, you're like, when, 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 don't be like that. Because maybe, also, uh, maybe whilst you're being a little bit like that, you're being a little bit defensive, maybe, as well, without knowing it. Um... Tell you about this two of pentacles. You know, giving off that vibe where you're not going to be approached. Do you know what I mean? If this is you manifesting a new person, your vibes, you know, because you want it that much, your vibes that you're giving off because you want it that much, you're not going to get approached. Not by the right person anyway. Not by the person that you're manifesting. You'll get approached by many others. Um, but not by the right person that you're manifesting. Not by what it is that you want. Does that make sense? Tell you about these two of pentacles, please. Stay in control, guys. Open your eyes. Believe. Believe it. Believe and you will achieve. Look, the Knight of Wands. So, this is a message. This is a messenger. Look, you're waiting. You don't know what... You, some of you are waiting for one particular message and you just don't know whether you're going to get it. And... You are what you've literally been told twice. The star out of both decks that's what 156 cards. No coincidence, you're gonna get what you want, you're gonna get what you're wishing for. One particular message, or you know, maybe not one particular message, it's just one particular person. But there's one particular thing that you're wishing for to come into you, and you just don't know whether you're gonna get it. You don't, you don't believe that you're gonna get it. You are one more for the two of pentacles. It's like I'm wasting my time. Am I? Am I not? Am I? Am I not? Help me out, universe. Help me out, spirit. Do you know what I mean? You're asking your ancestors, your guides for help, your, gui your guidance, and they're giving it your well, the King of Pentacles. I've just seen the Queen in the other deck, so this is your match. This is your person, male or female. You're gonna get your person. Some of you, someone from the past is watching you though. Someone that's previously walked away from you, or that you've walked away from. God, you're going to be away from that person and all. But I don't feel like this is the person that you're wishing for. I mean, for some of you, it could be. You could be wishing for that past person. But for others, it's not. This is why you're going to be at a crossroads for some of you. Because the past is going to return. And you're going to be at a crossroads with what to do. You know, like I said, all your manifestations are coming in. So maybe at one point, you've manifested the past. And then you've given up on that. Because you see my senses. <laughs> um, so you give up on that. But the universe still heard it. You still scribbled it down, and I feel like out of nowhere you're gonna be in a you're gonna be in a situation to have to decide with the two of ones, possibly sooner than you think. With the Knight of Swords, and I know some of you are gonna comment like I've not got any past or new. Just give it time. Time is fluid. 
my my readings aren't time stamped so watch this reading back in a you know in a couple of weeks couple of months tell me about this magician please <laughs> i love this reading <laughs> On the general as well, so I'll take what messages are yours within it and leave the rest behind for another Taurus. If you would like a personal reading, please email me. Thank you to all of those who already have. I love reading for you all, honestly. And please do subscribe if you haven't already. I'm new to YouTube, not new to channel. Tell me about this magician, please, the Taurus. Oh my god, love this wow okay so we've got the three of swords the wheel and then the three of cups so again this is another an energy of wishing you know like she's you know the, um, the three of cups is, is reconciliation or you know celebration something like that coming together but it's not on this side it's just solely solely about you it's not about others at this point this is just about what you're praying for it's like you know you're looking up you whatever you've wished for at one point again and this was when you was heartbroken oh but you wasn't supposed to receive it then whatever you've manifested whilst you was in pain yeah once twice a million times it didn't come in because it wasn't the right time with the wheel it wasn't the right time it was dark there was something very dark in your energy at that time you know you was in a lot of pain a lot of heartbreak it could have been more than one person that caused you pain with any relationship, romantic, friend, family, co-workers. You know, there was just a lot of pain. There was a lot of darkness around you in your energy. And there was a lot of pleading from you. You know, there was a lot of maybe wanting something a little bit too much from so the universe had to, you know, no, not yet. So you didn't get whatever this particular thing is that you manifested when you was in when you were going through pain. You know, take that time as it resonates. For some of you, this was last week. For some of you, this was two years ago. Um, so, interesting. Interesting. Let's see. But this, you don't see it come in. You, I feel like for a lot of you, you forgot all about it. You've moved on. You forgot all about it, but the universe is not. The star is ready to go. Boom. Wish granted. <laughs> you've done enough self care. You've done enough self love. You've grew on. You know. You've worked on yourself enough. You've healed your chakras as much as we would have liked to have. To you know, because no one's perfect. No one's ever one hundred percent healed. That's a lot of bullshit. You know, it's a to and fro process. So, but you've done enough work. You've poured in out of your own cup enough, Tora. So now is a little bit of a test for you. <laughs> Tell you about these two swords. Sorry if I'm talking too fast again. I am. I do remember. We're going to get. When a minute, a minute. I just. Tell you about these two of swords. Oh, the Emperor. Queen of Pentacles. Uh oh. Husband. Ex husband. You know. Someone that you don't look at, but they look at you. They're watching you. You don't see them. They see you. Aries energy. Father figure. Wow, someone very controlling. Listen, someone's um, someone was very hot and cold, hot one minute, you know, cold the next. There was very loving, very passionate, you know. There was the the emperor in the way that you loved him to be one minute, and then there was the emperor in the way that you wanted him to be the next. Just, you know, you was on eggshells around this person. You know, you was tiptoeing around this person. They could have enjoyed that as well. For some of you, I'm not gonna lie, from what I'm seeing. Um, but this person's watching you. You, male or female, they're watching you hold your shit down. But you don't see them. You're busy holding your shit down. You're busy watching, watching your fields. Just you know, you know, like you've just done harvesting. Yeah. So, you know, you've just done your big field and you've just done all your crops. You know, you, you know, you just planted them all and then you just sat back now. You're just watching them all grow. That's what you're doing. And this person's watching you maybe do that. Yeah, look. 
there's two people i feel like there's two people in your energy I've got the king of pentacles the king of cups yep oh my some of you have started a new relationship shit you are so desired right now taurus you are wanted whoa page of cups so someone's about to express some feelings or apologize i feel could be dealing with um but this could also you could have a child with this person absolutely um but you could be dealing with the water sign it could be a younger younger person if not in physical age it's just an immaturity on an emotional level maybe um someone wants to come and tell you how they've emotionally matured I feel like you're going to get what you want regardless, to be honest. You are. You're going to be happy and you're going to get what you want regardless. You're going to be happy with a soulmate soon, with someone that you love very much. But you're going to have to leave someone out in the cold. What? This is not my message. <laughs> Tell me about the star, but this is for someone. Sorry about the star, you could be dealing with Aquarius. Oh, okay, we've got the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and then the King of Wands. Listen, you're going to have to do some serious considering. You're going to have to do some serious going within about who you want. Who you want, you've got the, you know. Oh my, let me get one more. This is not going to, the Queen of Wands wanted to fly out then. Shit. You're going to have to do some spending time alone, going into hermit mode. Yeah, look, because you're not going to know what you, you're you not going to know what you want. You're not going to know what to decide. This is going to be very difficult for you, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. Take this time as it resonates. Some of you could be going through this right now. Some of you could have been through this already. Um, but I feel like for the majority of it, this is to come. If you're not going through it right this second, but you're going, you're going to have to do some going within. You're going to have to do some in like seriously spending some time alone to make the decision i feel like only you can make the decision nobody else like you possibly won't even get advice from your friends or anything like that you're going to decide decide about this all by yourself and i feel like that's the right thing to be doing because a very big judgment call needs to be made you know reconciliation <laughs> and it's like you're gonna be like do i want that do i want that but you're attracted to this person feel i feel like you're attracted to them both to be honest and that's what in some way you know attracted connected this connection between someone misses you someone misses you they know they fucked up one second i'm gonna sneeze i lost it <sighs> never mind i had a really tickling nose then could just be someone that you've been arguing with recently. Tell me about this two of ones. Do you feel like I'm coming down with a cold though? Tell me about this two of ones, please. But this is decision time. Do you know what I mean? Oh, eight of ones. Communication's coming. Taurus. This has been in your energy for so long, you know. So. <laughs> oh, tell me more. Ace of ones. Look, someone wants to reignite Sonic. What the ace of wands and the chariots because you've moved on because you've moved on some of you have found and some of you possibly are just talking to someone new there's going to be two people in your energy at some point so if you're single now you're going to meet someone very soon and it's going to be on a communication level but you're going to communicate a lot and it's going to it's going to create some kind of spark within you and you're going to build you're going to you're going to see a future with that person right with that new person for those of you that have already met that person that's exactly what you're doing you building you're discussing a future all right and because you're moving on, because you're in your chariot, look how I'm seeing this right now. You're getting off there, you know, heading off into your future. And look at this person. Whoa, no, you don't. No, you do not. Taurus. Where are you going? you've wished for this before now you know honestly 
I'm so sorry to say that, but you have. Oh, the universe can't have the funny sometimes. Sorry about this night of swords. Oh, the night of cups. Where you go in? No, 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 you don't, because I love you. I love you, Taurus. You're not going nowhere. Where do you think you're going? Oh, hell no. I love you. Stay right there. Oh, I can't stop thinking about you. Can't stop thinking about you. Can't sleep. You're all I think about. Been wanting to say this for ages. One more, this Knight of Swords. Confusion. Oh my. Some of you, they're watching your work and they see how successful you are. Because you are very successful, Taurus, or you're going to be with whatever you're working on, whatever you're building on, whatever you're creating. Um, whether it be your own business or whatever you're doing at work, it's... It's looking very, very, very successful and someone's seeing this. And that's their karma, you know. It is. And it's also part of the plan for this person to return. It just is. It's orchestrated. It's out of your control. It's out of their control. It's completely at divine timing. Divine is at play. You are you are going to be... I'm seeing you left confused here, so... But I'm seeing you having... You know, I'm, you'll make the right decision, free will and everything like that. So, I've not got any advice for you. I'm just telling you what's about to happen, I think. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If, if anyone's going through this right now, let me know. I would like to know. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching, Taurus. I will hopefully see you tomorrow.